everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we've got the sound system demo of the 2022 Mitsubishi Outlander and its 10-speaker Bose audio system. This is going to be an in-depth review, we're going to take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a look at speaker controls and locations and audio inputs and adjustments, and then get out on the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling, I'll give you my thoughts at the end. If you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning, you just want to hear the music, click ahead in the video, we've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And if you're tired of hearing the same songs week in and week out, sign up to become a Daily Motor member. There you can hear custom tracks that we uh, record kind of behind the scenes, requested by members. So if you want to see that and support the channel, sign up for the link below. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at it. Really just a Nissan Rogue with Mitsubishi badges, but uh, it's doing its best. It's uh, it was maybe a little bit hard on it initially, but there have been certain things that I've come to like. These 20 inch wheels are not one of them. If you do want to see more on the Outlander, check the links in the description. We ran a highway fuel economy test where it didn't do too bad. And then we're gonna do a DM test drive as well after Alyssa and I drive it for over a thousand miles. We're gonna have plenty of seat time in here. Now we always do this test with lossless uncompressed wave files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system and high quality Roland binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory defaults, so let's take a look at those now. Pretty standard infotainment here, it is Nissan system, but kind of reskinned with Mitsubishi's color scheme, if you will. You can go to the menu, and you've got kind of this home menu that, again, is if you're familiar with Nissan systems, looks very similar. Audio, settings, sound. We got treble, bass, front rear left right fader, and balance, and a speed compensated volume adjustment. So let's go through treble and bass. Disappointing not to get a mid-range adjustment, but fortunately the mid-range is actually not too bad in this car, so I don't think it really needs to be tweaked much. For audio controls, you have this nice volume knob here. It's easy to grab and turns easily. You also have up, down on the left side of the steering wheel. For track selection, many physical controls. I appreciate that. You've got clickers here, scroller knob there. You can use the touch screen if you're on the audio screen, and clickers on the left side of the steering wheel right by the volume control, which is good. For audio inputs in the Mitsubishi Outlander, you have your standard AM, FM, Sirius XM satellite radio, USB-A and USB-C, which you can use in tandem, I believe, so that's really nice. Bluetooth, CarPlay, and Android Auto. You can use wireless Apple CarPlay, but no wireless Android Auto. Hopefully that comes for a 2023 model year. And that is it. What does that mean you're missing? Well, there's no sort of 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack. Like I said, it would be nice to be able to have wireless Android Auto as well. But other than that, you pretty much got everything you'd want in here. I appreciate having the C and the A. Oops, just hit the uh, track selection instead of the volume. Speaker locations. As I said, this is a 10 speaker system, starting in the bottom left. You've got one woofer in the door, two up here, kind of a mid-range and treble. Uh, tweeter, three, four, five, six. And in the back, we have seven and eight door woofers. And this is kind of weird because it's a 10 speaker system, but the only speaker location left is the subwoofer. So it's the same thing that happened in the Nissan Rogue. There must have uh, two speakers that they call it down in the subwoofer. It's a little strange that, uh, that that's what they call it rather than just calling it a nine speaker system, but it is what it is. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto demos. Let's actually start off with Android Auto. Here we go, Android Auto coming up. This is kind of your home screen. And then you have YouTube Music right here, although I don't have any YouTube Music items loaded up on my burner phone. Settings, there. And then your Google Maps. You can see it does come up pretty well. Resolution's okay. Responsiveness is pretty good. And that's that. How about and, uh, Apple CarPlay? Very easy to just press the little CarPlay button here, and hopefully it should load up. And give me wireless CarPlay. There we go, there's CarPlay coming up. 
Here's your home screen. A little bit of a strange aspect ratio, but it's all fitting in there. Here's your app screen, phone, Amazon Music, decently responsive, and there's Waze. All right, so let's get this stuff put away and get out on the road. example of one that has there's nothing really wrong with it it's it's actually surprisingly fine there's just not really anything outstanding either you're not getting amazing bass you're not getting super crisp highs or really well balanced mids or anything it's just it's just all kind of there and to be honest uh, for a system in this price range for this sort of vehicle for what uh, Mitsubishi needed to do to be an okay car yeah really not too bad this next song, turn the bass all the way up to see how it sounds.
Parker Bow System here in the Outlander from Mitsubishi. Ah, it's actually, it's it really isn't too bad. I know I keep kind of coming back to that phrase, but initial listening, you're kind of like, ooh, this isn't uh, this isn't gonna be great. But you turn up a little bit more complex music, some rock, some hip hop, some classical, and you're like, okay, I guess for this price of vehicle, for this kind of vehicle, I'm I'm not too disappointed. So. I'm on the fence whether to give it a B or a C. I think it's only fair objectively to give it a C. But we're talking C plus, and that's objective. Like all cars we test, uh, this would be about a C plus in sound rating. But obje uh, subjectively speaking, for this category of vehicle and this price point around 40 grand, it's a B. It really doesn't sound too bad. And I do appreciate the ease of use of the system. It is a little bit dated looking, but it works well. And it's got a good amount of inputs. I would like to see wireless Android Auto, but I'm sure that's just a model year away or so. So, all things considered, not too bad here in the Outlander with the Bose. Thank you all so much for watching. If you do want to see more on the Outlander, check the link in the description. We're actually getting pretty darn good fuel economy results, so you'll want to tune into the fuel economy test for that. We'll have a DM test drive as well. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.